Hello my beautiful creatives and welcome back to my art studio. My name is Chrissy B and I am a creativity coach hoping to inspire and empower you to live a more creative life every day. Now today it's time for another soul book day. Um, I want to kind of give you an update where we're at. This was um, the finished spread that I did last week on video. It's not quite finished. I do have a few blank things, but I'll just keep adding to it as the weeks go by. The biggest changes that I did was I filled in my journaling prompts for my personal vision. I also wrote my letter to myself in the future tense, and it says do not open until 1-1-2019. And basic, I sealed it with some washi tape, and basically what that is is a letter to myself saying how fantastic 2018 was and some of the things that I think we did. So I'll be able to read that next year and see how close I was. So there is that. Then here is my vision board. You saw that on week one. And then here we are on a clean new page. Now, I was rummaging through my stash, my paper stash, and I found two things that I really thought would be a cool thing to add to my soul book. And one is, this prompt says where I am now, and this one says where I want to be. And then in my, I have a desktop calendar. Um, you are a badass. I love this. I read it every day and it just is so motivating and empowering and inspiring. I absolutely love it. So one of the things I, I keep those and I put those into my stash so that I can call back on those if I need to. And I found one that I thought was appropriate for this idea of where I am now and where I want to be. And it says, if you're not where you want to be in life, keep going. Treat yourself like you're your closest friend you've got. Celebrate the magnificent creature that you are. Don't let anyone mess with you and your dreams, least of all yourself. And I thought that would be so appropriate to put onto this spread. And because this spread is so very, very, very white, I want to paint. So I am going to put some music on. I think I'm going to use some Dina Wakely Heavy Body Acrylic Paints. I've chosen three. Tangerine, magenta, and lemon. I'm going to use one of the Dina Wakely Media brushes, which is my favorite. I'm just going to go with whatever my gut tells me to do, whether I use washi or paper or pen, ink, um, whatever. So I'm going to put on some music and um, just watch along. Feel free to play. Get your soul book out and play with me. This should be super, super easy.
so I think I'm ready to go ahead and start answering the questions where I am now versus where I want to be. Um, everything I used was pretty self-explanatory, I think, except for my whiteout tape. I don't know if I've seen a lot of people use that um, in their art journaling. I like it because it makes like little grid. I usually use Punchinella to put like polka dots on everything, but I discovered this when I was bored in a business meeting once that I could like draw little squares with it. And I just kind of do them haphazardly. Once I'm done, I kind of burnish them down with my finger so they stay. Um, but I really like it because it adds something different than polka dots. And although I love me some polka dots, sometimes having something a little different is kind of fun. So that's that's what that is. I'm sure I was going to get questions. This is just a generic staples one. Um, they're rather easy to use and they last quite a long time. So you always keep this not only in my art studio, but I also keep one in my travel bag as well. So I thought I would stop and just tell you what that is. And I'm just going to put on some more music and speed through this piece, but I'm just going to fill out um, these two journal props. <laughs> with that and if you saw I just kind of kept like randomly putting my words wherever I wanted I kind of just zigzag them a little bit um, you could have also put them in random spaces I did leave a lot of space in here I know because how I use my soul book as I am flipping through here every once in a while you know periodically I'll come through and I'll flip through and I might have a couple more things that I want to add in here but I thought this was a really good um, way to utilize these two journal prompts that I had in my paper stash where I am now versus where I want to be and actually I'm really super excited about this page I think that right now it's done however because it's my soul book and a soul book is a living breathing book that I'm constantly like using to um, evolve me it means this will also evolve through the year as I see fit and it might stay exactly the same it is now and I might add more or add more doodles or add more art stuff to it or you never know I might come in and just so part of it and do some more it just depends I think I'm pretty happy with this though so um, right now I can't imagine I'll do anything else to it because I love it so much it just seems really really super happy it's a little bit chaotic it's a little bit spazzy which is kind of like myself it's kind of how my brain works a little bit of a jumble but I'm really happy with it and I hope this gave you a really good idea on something that you can do in your own soul book uh, where I am now versus where I want to be if you have any questions don't forget to put them down in the comment section down below I will be very happy to help in any way that I can and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe I know that you know that but it really helps uh, my little channel if you were to do so I'd really appreciate it and if you have any questions for me please don't hesitate to let me know I will talk to you soon. Until next time, bye for now.